Just a glimpse at the teams lining up for the game gave an indication how this one would go. A group of mostly fringe All Blacks trying to make a name for themselves against a proven lineup of world class performers. It's hard to know what Joe Rokothoko was thinking while facing the Haka, but it was plain to see from the start that his wing partner Brian Habana was going to be the star of the game. And oh, that's been scooped up, trouble. And this is going to be a great opportunity for the Lions. Habana for the Barbarians. Habana's opposite Ben Smith scored his first try for the All Blacks to give them the lead midway through the first half. He was impressive with ball in hand and a little unlucky not to put Zach Guilford into a gap when the ref ruled a forward pass. But this was Habana's game. A nice little offload. Oh, intercepted! Oh, he's gone after him! McCall's after him! Won't stop him! And while the All Blacks managed to stay in the match when Anthony Borich crossed, they never really looked like winning especially when Habana got his third. Ghetto now on the left, trying to free the ball up. He's done so, and Habana's got three. Oh, wow, what wonderful skill from Matt Ghetto. The finishing was superb, but Matt Ghetto was absolutely superb. The class of the Barbarians, simply too much for the second string All Blacks. Fantastic performance by everyone. I think uh, you know, I was able to finish off some great opportunities created by the guys inside me, so I can't really take much credit for the tries, but a great team performance. I think it's been a fantastic week. You've know, you got to know guys from other countries and other cultures, and you know, we really enjoyed each other's company, and I think it uh, showed it out there on the field today. Well, I just learned from the experience of playing you know, in front of a crowd like this and you know, the pressure that comes with it, so yeah, I'll take that away from it. Joe Rokothoko comes away with something he probably thought he'd never do, playing a team that beat the All Blacks. He, like many of today's men in black, now has time to reassess and push for a test spot again next year.